Hello everyone, uh, this is a very short video in which I'm going to be instructing, instructing viewers how to disable the home button on Apple iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch devices. Uh, I found this something I needed to do today because I had some young relatives visiting and they're about two and three years old. I wanted them to be able to play Angry Birds and a number of different games. But obviously being young kids they kept pressing the home button and they were losing their game. So I, I've searched for a, a way to disable the home screen and I didn't want to jailbreak my device. And luckily, some very good people at a website called Stack Overflow, this is the page here, uh, I've included the link in the description for the video, if you look on wherever the description is when you're watching this video. Uh, you can basically install a configuration profile to your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch device, which will, once you've rebooted the device, and by that I mean turn the power off and turn it on again, it will only run one app and one app only, almost in a demo store mode. Uh, so I think this is really good if you just want to do one thing and make sure that nobody can touch the home screen and lose, the, lose what you're doing. So here we go, this is the website I'm showing you, it seems to be called Stack Overflow. And as you can see, lock down iPhone, iPad or iPod so it can only run one app. And here's the mobile config you're going to click on. So I'm going to do that all right now in real time. So I'm going to click on the config. I think click it properly. Here we go. It opens up your settings and says, here you go, do you want to install the profile? The profile is called Home Button Lock. It's unsigned, obviously, because it's a third party thing. What does it do? It disables the Home Button. It was received today. And are there any more details that would be of use to us? Just showing us where it, where it works, I guess. So I'm going to install that and say, install now. It's asking for my password. I'm going to put that in. If you don't have a password, I don't think it will come up. So that's done. So now, just using this website for demonstration, to apply the profile, you have to turn the iPad off and on again. So for now, the home button will work. What I'm going to do is power the device off and on again to see if it's applied correctly or not. Let me do that now. off so I'll come back once the power is on. Okay the iPad is now powered on. I've power cycled it after installing the profile so now I'm going to see if it has successfully installed the profile or not. So I'm going to turn the device on. I don't know if you noticed that or not but already the home button isn't working. So I can't use the home button to turn the device on so it seems like it's, it's worked correctly. Slide to unlock. Just going into my password. Dismiss that. And the app I really wanted to check was Angry Birds, so that's going to be the first one I'm going to open. How this profile works is the first app you open, the iPad will only open that app. So once you've installed the profile, make sure you only open the app you actually want it to run on. If you open something else like Safari or your email, you'll be stuck on that and you'll have to remove the profile and start the process again. Which is a bit fiddly and a bit tricky at first, but I'm sure you'll get used to it in time. So here we go, I'm going to open Angry Birds. Let it load and see how, how we get on. Angry Birds is, is loaded. This is a first generation iPad, so it's probably a bit slower than what you might be using if you have a newer version. And pressing the home button, nothing at all is happening, which is exactly what I wanted. In addition, swiping left, right, up and down, nothing happens. So Right now, this is a Angry Birds machine, and it can't be used for anything else. Uh, no small people can come and press the button by accident and lose their game. Now I'm going to come back and... Sorry, so the power button does work. Just turn the password in again. So there we go. The home button does not work. Swipe gestures don't work. But you remain to have all function within the app. The volume button does work and you can lock the orientation of the screen and the power button works as well but the home button does not work I'm going to leave that there and then I'll come back in just a few seconds with the tutorial on how to remove the profile to restore your iPad back to normal function okay so here's the iPad which I have successfully installed the script on and after 
applying the script, rebooting the device and opening the app I wanted to run, which was Angry Birds. It's been a couple of hours now, so it's going to start the device again. Home button, as you can see, does not work at all, so you can't use that to turn the device on. So you're using the power button. I'm just going to put my password in. And I'm back in. So Angry Bird is open, and I can't do anything else with the device. I can't swipe up or down. And I can't use the home button at all to bring up the bottom menu, change the volume or anything like that. So it's strictly Angry Bird's machine right now. The next stage of what I'm going to do is install the Apple um, iPhone configuration utility to remove this so, I, so it's back to normal. Okay, now I've uh, downloaded the iPhone configuration utility from the link below in the descri video description. It's a free app provided by iTunes, I'm sorry, provided by Apple. So what I'm going to do is uh, connect my iPad now and see what happens to try and remove that config. So, doing this with one hand is going to be a bit difficult, but here we go. So I've connected it now, and it's jumped up. I'm just going to see what's going to happen inside the uh, configuration utility. Perhaps I need to click add, or is it just going to, I'll give it some time for it to pop up. So there we go, so my iPad has now shown up. And I'm going to go into configuration profiles, and here's the home button lock. And I'm going to see how I can remove it. So, as you saw, it just pops up. There are four tabs. The second one is configuration profiles, the other one is provisioning, and the last one is applications. So, I'm going to go into configuration profiles and right clicking doesn't do anything. If I click on edit, no, no options there. So, maybe I have to just click delete. Okay, delete hasn't done anything either. I think what I need to do is come over here to the left where it says configuration profiles. No, nothing there. Devices. Configuration profiles. Here we go. So what you need to do is go to devices on the left. This is the first screen that will pop up once you plug your device in. On the left, there's a. it says devices and then name of your iPad. Click on your iPad. And then you present it with this uh, new window which has one, two, three, four, five tabs. First one is a summary. The second one is configuration profile, which shows the profiles you've listed. And the home button link, home button lock profile is here. So to un uninstall it, I'm just going to click remove. You're about to remove the configuration profile. This action cannot be undone. Do you want to proceed with removal? Yes, I do, because I want to return to full use of the iPad, including use of the home screen. So I'm going to remove it now. And now it seems to have been removed. I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm running, this is a Windows 7 computer, so um, this will probably, probably apply for most Windows machines. I'm just going to safely remove it, remove the iPad, but it hasn't shown up yet. Um, well, iTunes has popped up. Don't download the new version. It's on my other screen. Uh, so I'm just going to safely remove it. And I'll come back in just a few seconds. Here I am now. I uninstalled, I removed the, the home lock profile, the home lock configuration profile using the iTunes um, iPhone configuration utility for the iPad. So now I'm going to turn the device off. Sorry. Well, as you can see right now, uh, if, I open, if I turn the device on, I'll just turn my password in again. The home, home button is not working as you can see, pressing it uh, doesn't have any effect. And also swiping doesn't make any difference either. You can swipe inside the application but you can't swipe to get the um, iPad menus. So what I'm going to do is power the device off and power it back on again and see if that's the correct way to have removed the profile. 
So instead of waiting for it to come back, I'm going to stop the video here and come back and come okay, back into power. Now powered back up. I'm just going to enter my password and see if I can. Uh, mind you, I can see I can find that straight away if the home button is home button use is returned by powering the device off, and if this will bring it back up to the home screen, and it has. So I'm going to just enter my password now. Got a bit of a low battery, but that's okay. And if removing the configuration prof profile has worked correctly, then I'll have use of the home button again, which I do. As you can see, scrolling through the menus, going back to the home button, does work, whereas before it didn't. So there you have a free, quick, and relatively easy way to stop the use of the home button on an iPad, an iPod Touch, or an iPhone. This method does not require a jailbreak and is a great way to protect the iPad if you have young children or people using the device who will be prone to pressing the home button and losing uh, their screen. This was used today because I had some young relatives visiting me and I wanted them just to be able to play Angry Birds and a couple of other games without it closing out on them. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, so signing up for now, this is Raphael, and thanks a lot.